Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an E to pick up an item, which also saves to your inventory. Just before the video begins, I'd like to announce that my Roblox game has now been released, Fish Magnet Simulator. The whole point in the game is you run around with a fishing net, collecting fish, which you are then able to sell for coins, then to purchase eggs, buy better buckets with more capacity, and also fishing nets that can give you a wider range. If you did want to go check out the game, the link to the game is in the description. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure exploring properties are enabled. If exploring properties are not enabled, head up to the top bar here, click on view and enable exploring properties. Now that you've got exploring properties enabled, you want to click on a part. And now this is going to be the part that the player is going to be having the E on. So basically how this is going to work is let's say this is your tool here. This, this is your tool right here. How it will work is the proximity prompt will be next to your tool where the player can pick it up from. So as we remember, this is our tool. Let's say, I don't know, this is a, a wall hammer or something. You know, it can your tool right here. Then the proximity prompt is going to be printed onto here. So when a player walks up, up to this block here, they'll be prompted with the proximity prompt where they click E. Then they will receive this item. So the proximity prompt is actually not going to be in your tool. It's going to be in a separate part. Now, let's say you want uh, your proximity prompt to be away from your tool, or you do, or not shown by your tool. You just set the transparency to one, and then you just enable the can collide. That's all you got to do. But for this tutorial, we're just going to be deleting that, and then all we're going to be having is our part, which is going to be holding our proximity prompt. Now that you've got your part, click on the plus button and insert a proximity prompt. You can go and adjust these settings, max activation distance, the key code, the hold duration. I'm going to be setting the hold duration to one. Then in the proximity prompt, click on the plus button and insert a script. So now that you've inserted the script inside of the proximity prompt, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code. Now we are needing to go and adjust a couple things here. So local item, we are basically identifying on what our item is. So our item is in game.serviceStorage.tools. Now we have not created that folder yet. So what we want to do, we can actually leave the script for now, but we will have to go and adjust a couple things here. So we want to head back to our base plate. Then we want to go over to service storage, click on the plus button next to service storage and insert a folder. This folder is going to be renamed to tools, just like that. Change it then the properties, the name, and then inside our tools folder will be our item, which the player will receive. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna be using an item from toolbox. So I'm just gonna go and put a sword, just like that. If we just select a sword by Roblox, that is the one. Okay, uh, do we wanna put it into starter pack? No, we do not. Basically now, our sword is in workspace, but we wanna go and put it into a different location. So we wanna click where it says parent, where it says workspace, and put that into our tools folder. So as you guys can see, the sword has now disappeared and it is now inside our tools folder in the server storage. Now that you've put your item inside of the tools folder in your server storage, we want to go and adjust a couple things. So if you changed your folder name to something else, maybe like Pony or Unicorn or Flapjacks, you know, really any name you renamed your folder to, you want to go and change that here. But if you renamed it to tools, you don't need to go and change anything here. So depending on what your sword is called, you want to go and change classic sword to whatever your item name is. Now let's say your item is called gravity coil. So there you guys can see mine is called classical sword. But let's say yours is gravity coil. I'm going to change this name here to gravity coil. Now make sure to spell it correctly, capital letters, just how it is shown in your server storage tools folder. Once you've done that, click on the X button next to your script and you want to go save that. Now we want to head over to our server script service, click on the plus button and insert a script. Now that you've inserted a script inside of service script service, this is going to actually make the tool save in the player's inventory when they leave the game. If you don't want the player to keep that item when they leave the game, simply do not add the script into service script service and all you have is the proximity prompt on the part and your folders with the tools. But if you want the data to save, this is the script that you want to go down into the description, copy and paste it back into Roblox Studio and then you want to go and adjust a couple of things here. But keep in mind, this is only if you want the data to save. So depending on what your folder in service storage is called, you want to go and change that right here. So our one is set to tools because our folder is called tools. But let's say your folder is called fish, you want to go and change this to fish. 
So once you're finished adjusting everything, you head up here next to the script, click on the X button to go save the script. Then you want to go over to your game settings, go down to security, and then you want to enable, enable studio access to API services. This basically allows the game to access data stores. You then want to click on save, and then you want to go click on team test to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate, and if I hold down E on our proximity prompt, we'll be given the sword. Now, if I go and leave the game by clicking exit game, and then I rejoin here on the team test, you'll be able to see that I continue to have the sword in my inventory. As you guys can see, we've just joined back into team test, and I have the sword in my inventory because we implemented the data saving script. If you would like to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server and we will happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here if you did enjoy. I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next video.